We're about to break down the latest around the Tennessee Titans news and rumors style. But first, what video do you guys want first? I promise you that we will do both cut candidates for the Titans and draft targets. Talking round one specifically there. But we're going to let you guys decide which one we do first. So head down to the comment section, type C for cut candidates or D for draft targets. Tom Downey here for Tennessee Titans today to break down everything going on around the Titans after a disappointing end to the season. Some good, I suppose, news here to start. Harold Landry has been named to the Pro Bowl. He is the injury replacement alternate, whatever you, word you want to use there. It's all the same in the end. For Joey Bosa, who's not heading due to an undisclosed injury. I think it's well-deserved for Harold Landry. I have liked for a long time out of Boston College. Breakout season this year finally went down 12 sacks in 2021. He was awesome. Part of a Titans defensive front that really, really was a big reason why they had success this year. 75 tackles, which is super high even for an outside linebacker in that 3-4 scheme. 14 tackles for loss, 22 quarterback hits. We've known for a while Landry had the potential to be a star. I think that star power has arrived now in Tennessee, and this is why it's maybe not fully good news. Uh, the timing is perfect for Landry, not so much for Tennessee. He is now set to be a free agent this year, and Tennessee cannot afford to lose him. I know they paid Bud Dupree fairly big money. I know that. There's now speculation from him today, well, what if the Titans franchise tag Landry? Well, it would be expensive. 18.5 million at linebacker, 17.5 at defensive end. Thanks, NFL, for still refusing to use edge rusher, defensive line, and off-ball linebacker as your designations. It would count as the linebacker tag since he is listed as an outside linebacker for the team. Be about 18.5. That is the projected total right now, of course. That could change before we get to the actual franchise tag deadline. And I think $18.5 million is probably close then to the floor of what Landry would be asking for on a multi-year deal from Tennessee at the current moment, right? He had 12 sacks this year, 14 tackles for loss. He had nine sacks 2019, missed some time 2020, had five and a half. Five and a half. He is an impact edge. And the market for high-end edge rushers has absolutely skyrocketed with the long-term deals for TJ Watt, Joey Bosa, and Miles Garrett, all above $25 million per year. Now, I do not believe that Harold Landry is that caliber of edge rusher. Maybe not a Khalil Mack caliber either, but I do think he is Demarcus Lawrence. He's definitely Frank Clark caliber. Trey Flowers got $18 million from the Lions, for just being bleh. Oh, he's never done anything for in Detroit. So I think if you're if you're paying Land if you're gonna keep Landry beyond a franchise tag, I think he's gonna be asking, I think he would get on the open market 20 million per year or more. So what do you think then? Knowing that could be the cost in the long run, would you re-sign Harold Landry or would you let him leave or maybe try and tag and trade him? Would you resign him? Why for yes and for no. This is the pinned comment on today's video. So if that ad break comes here, take advantage. Head down there and let me know. And some news here for Tennessee. Four coaches have been fired. Not the one many of you guys want in Todd Downing. Veteran linebackers coach who was doing the inside coaching, inside linebackers coaching, Jim Hazlitt, out of here. Assistant defensive line coach, Nietzsche Aduzzi is out. Assistant special teams coach Matt Edwards is gone. And assistant strength and conditioning coordinator Mondre Gee is also out. Not the big sexy names of coaches getting fired. More of the, the back end of, of the group getting shuffled around there. So who else do you guys want fired? I assume I'm going to see some decent Todd Downings in the comment section. But head down there and let me know if anybody, if there's anybody you want fired from Tennessee. If you want to bet on the postseason, or if you're just not there, you can bet on basketball, head over to BetUS, our sportsbook partner. You get a 125% deposit bonus when you use promo code CHAT125 at chatsports.com slash bet. 
That's chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code chat125. Maybe you want to bet against on? I'm not sure how we're feeling there with the Bengals-Chiefs game. Chiefs a heavy favorite, seven points right now. The Niners-Rams game, much smaller spread. Cut it in half, three and a half despite the Rams being at home. But the Niners have won six straight against Sean McVay's squad. Maybe they'll make it seven. Either way, head over to BetUS at chatsports.com slash bet and use that promo code chat125. Free agency talk now. How about Dalton Schultz? Now, this was a suggestion by USA Today. They went through one free agent each team should try to sign, and the selection for Tennessee was Schultz. He's coming off a big-time breakout year as a member of the Dallas Cowboys who are up against the cap a little bit there. He will be expensive to sign this offseason. I don't think Schultz is going to be a cheap option because he was great in Dallas. 78 catches, 808 yards, Eight touchdowns on 104 targets. He and Dak Prescott worked very well. So, we mentioned the Harold Landry cost. What is going to be the cost of Dalton Schultz? I think it might be a bit too much in the end for Tennessee. Now, look, he's not George Kittle. He's not Travis Kelsey. He's probably not even Dallas Goddard or Mark Andrews. So, I don't think he would command $14 million per year. But the next three names, I think, are very much in his range. Hunter Henry and former Tennessee Titan John U. Smith got $12.5 million. Austin Hooper got $10.5. Assuming Schultz does hit the open market, given other teams like the Jets, for example, are in desperate need of tight end help, the bidding war could push him to John U. Smith figures. And if you weren't going to pay John U. Smith, well, would you want to pay Dalton Schultz as well? The tight end market's a bit weird. There's a rookie Kyle Pitts on there in the top 10 because that's it's just like running backs. The highest paid guys aren't that expensive. Tennessee, they'll make no mistake, this is one of, if not their biggest need in the offseason. Jeff Swain played a lot. That's another former Dallas Cowboy. Swain is a backup tight end. He was getting borderline starter snaps for Tennessee. Anthony Ferksker was supposed to be the breakout year, and that did not happen for him. Heck, you could argue Michael Pruitt was your most impactful tight end, but that wasn't all that great. I do think Tennessee this year really did miss having Jonu Smith, or at least a healthy Jonu Smith out there. Dalton Schultz would be an instant impact upgrade at the tight end position. Now, the USA Today article was one free agent the teams had signed. So I want you guys to name your own free agent. Who out there do you want the Tennessee Titans to go sign? Let me know in the comments. I also want to thank you. We have hit 2,000 subscribers here on Tennessee Titans today. You guys are awesome, but I don't want to settle for just 2,000. Next up is 3,000. Let's get there quicker than we did the 2,000 mark now that we're in the offseason. So if you haven't already, subscribe for free Titans videos. We get coaching, free agency, and now draft. Devontae Wyatt, Bleacher Report went through and named one surprise prospect each team could draft. They went with Devontae Wyatt. So I'll give them credit for picking a surprise name and not picking an obvious name disguising it as a surprise. Wyatt would surprise me if he were the pick. I also wouldn't despise it necessarily, and I'll explain why in a second, but I want you guys first to let me know who you want the Tennessee Titans to draft. Any name, any position, Drop it for me in the comments section. All right, back to Wyatt here. 39 tackles, 7 TFL, 2.5 sacks. Not off the charts, impressive production, but I would say this. He had an almost 10% pressure rate, and that entire Georgia defense was incredibly loaded. Wyatt, one of those guys. I don't view him as a top 20 guy. I would almost be more intrigued by Trayvon Walker specifically, for this Titans defense, because Bleacher Report mentioned replacing Danico Autry, who I thought played very well this year, even though there is a potential for him at some point in the future. Jeffrey Simmons, obviously, is going to be a key piece for you. Devontae Wyatt, though, in terms of his listed size, is bigger than Danico Autry. He's listed at 6'3", 315, so you could still play him in your defensive front. They could be a decent partner with Jeffrey Simmons. I would maybe have a little bit more interest, though, and I still think it would be a surprise name. 
Trayvon Walker, the fellow Georgia product. I like where this defense line is at overall. Maybe you find a cheap, true, run-clogging defensive tackle. Maybe Jordan Davis could be that guy, speaking of Georgia products. But I think Wyatt would be an okay pick by Tennessee. I think there are better names out there, though, in the end.